हेलो एवरीबडी हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग सो गाइज आर यू आर बायोटेक फ्रेशर ग्रेजुएट एंड यू आर वंडरिंग अबाउट वॉट ऑल आर द एरियाज दैट यू शुड फोकस ऑन टू मेक श्योर दैट यू ग्रैब अ जॉब और आर यू लुकिंग फॉर सम काइंड ऑफ गाइडेंस दैट विल हेल्प यू पॉलिश योर स्किल्स एंड दैट विल हेल्प यू गेट अ बेटर जॉब वेल टूडे आई एम हियर टू टेल यू अबाउट सम बेसिक स्किल्स ओके दैट यू मस्ट लर्न एज अ फ्रेश बायोटेक ग्रेजुएट सो आई हैव कम अप विथ अ लिस्ट ऑफ टेन सच स्किल्स ओके एंड आई विल i will i will elaborate a little bit on those skills as well and i'm sure if you work on those skills along with your basic subject knowledge definitely you are going to be more marketable and you are going to increase your value in the in your resume as well as in your work as uh, at the time of uh, the face to face interviews and all okay so let's get started so the very first skill that you need is definitely knowledge of fundamental biological principles and concepts so now here you if you are talking about getting a job in the biotech industry okay so definitely you it is required that you should have a fundamental knowledge of the subject okay and this uh, fundamental knowledge the questions based on the fundamental knowledge is are asked at the time of your interview process okay whether you are going for an interview for the job or for the research program but yes this fundamental questions are often asked okay so your your basic concept should be very clear so if you are going to if you are applying for some immunological project so it should be very clear about how the immune system works what are the different cells that are there in the immune system okay this terminology should be very clear to you the viruses how they attack how the body fights if you are uh, if you are uh, going if you are applying for any cancer related project or in cancer related uh, lab position so definitely you should have your basics clear on the cancer okay so it is important that you have the knowledge of fundamental biological principles and concepts okay now second skill that is required is familiarity with laboratory techniques and equipment okay now see definitely it is not uh, required that you know how to handle a mass spectrometer okay or you know how to handle a pcr uh, a thermocycler okay see if you know this equipments if you know this uh, 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 next generation sequencing machine if you know this skills definitely it is going to be a big advantage to you but for minimal for fresher graduate okay the the expectation is you know how to handle the basic lab equipments so what are the basic lab lab equipments that i am talking about so the equipments that i am talking about is agarose gel electrophoresis okay then polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis okay then spectrophotometer then an ultra centrifuge okay so these are the very basic requirements okay so and uh, like uh, uh, let's say a ph meter okay autoclave so these are the very very basic requirements but these are the basic lab equipment so any lab you go okay at any level of lab you go this will be the equipments which will be there and you are also required to perform in this equipment so guys knowing the advanced instruments okay definitely that's an advantage but knowing this basic instruments it's a must okay so this is a must skill that you should have so guys if you have not yet graduated and you are in the final uh, year or final semester of your course and you are not aware of or you don't know how to use any of this instruments please equip yourself with the knowledge get the hands on training till you have time
okay because this is a must this is a definitely a must requirement for any fresher biotech graduate now coming to the third skill okay third skill will be to the ability to design and conduct experiment analyze data and interpret result okay so this will be a must requirement for whether you are thinking of going to a pharmaceutical company okay as uh, in in the research and development uh, department or you are thinking of uh, applying for a job as a research assistant okay or you are thinking for applying for any phd opening and uh, opening okay and vacancies right so in those cases it is very important that you know how to design an experiment and you know how to conduct it okay now definitely you will always in those places you will always have a guide i have a senior to help you in designing but then you should also have the basic idea okay nobody is going to teach you from the scratch you should have a basic idea and they will help you they will guide you okay but nobody is going to do this work for you all right so you should know how to design an experiment how to analyze the data and interpret the result okay these are the three important steps of any scientific experiment okay you must have read any scientific article so there are three steps only okay designing of the experiment observation and interpretation so this is a skill that you will need okay moving on to skill number 4 is proficiency with common software programs and tools used in the biotech industry okay now see nowadays the scenario has changed a lot earlier there was like you go 15 20 years back so it was a very uh, clear situation wet lab and uh, dry lab situation okay only bioinformatics uh, uh, technicians they will do the, the 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 dry lab analysis the wet lab analysis is done by uh, the the other uh, department okay but nowadays it is not like that this there the, the the gap between wet lab and dry lab has kind of um vanished okay it has both have merged together and both the skills are required in a person okay now yes we don't uh, it's it's not expected out of you that you know the complicated or spe any specific bio uh, bioinformatics software but yes definitely the basic tools that are requ that are used okay like any statistics tools okay so any 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 bioinformatics tools that help you do the statistical calculations okay or any uh, any 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 tool that help you in making the graphs or the bar diagrams okay so you should be able to do this you know this graphs and the bar diagrams they can be easily they, they can be easily done in the ms excel only okay so you should have a good idea about excel you should know how, how it's not that you will do it in the graph paper and join it okay everything it is it is expected out of you that you will do it on the software okay so you will make a soft file of it so you it you should know the basic ms excel and all and all this all this advanced properties of excel so that you can do your statistical analysis you can make your graphs from the data of your experiment okay so if you say this things in your resume okay if you develop the skills and you write the skills in your resume that is that 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 definitely is going to keep you ahead of the crowd fifth skill should be knowledge and regulatory knowledge of regulatory guide, uh, guidelines and compliance requirements okay so this can be lab specific that this can be area specific okay but uh, whatever is the area of your interest or whichever area you are applying for the job develop this skill and know the regulatory guidelines and compliance compliance requirements now moving on to skill number 6 strong communication and collaboration skill okay see whether you are talking about conducting any experiment okay or you are talking about uh, working in a multinational uh, pharmaceutical company there will be different departments okay and you will have you will need the skill where you have to uh, collaborate with other members of different departments 
okay for your experiment okay you need some sample from some uh, some one department you need some reagent from some other department okay so your collaboration skills should be nice your communication skills should be good okay so that's why guys even when we see that in india like there are so many different languages okay there are so many uh, different languages our government gives um, uh, 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 gives recognition to but still you have to understand that english is a global language okay and you english is a language that is universally spoken in all the parts of india nowadays so this you you should be strong your your communication skill in english has to be strong okay so this will not only help you in doing the collaboration and uh, and uh, will help you in expressing your thoughts and your ideas to your uh, peers and to your uh, lab mates along with that it will all also build your confidence and sh and it will let you express better in the interview okay see guys you must you might be having you you can write all these skills down in your resume okay but you know the person who is interviewing you so they they keep this face to face interview so that they can judge the person okay because many people they write false things on their resume on a page on on a paper but it becomes difficult for them to fake it in person all right so this strong communication skill is a must so guys if you have if you if you feel that your communication skill is not good or you, you are not that proficient in english so please join any class or develop a skill or take a course okay but develop this skill okay and you you know when you start communicating better in a language that i will say 90% of the world speaks then you will and you your confidence itself will boost okay it's not only about uh, put your it, it 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 will be about your own confidence okay so when you are able to communicate with people better okay when you are able to pass on your ideas and your thoughts to others when you are able to understand others inputs in those thoughts and in those processes your confidence will be built okay so communication strong communication is a must okay and this strong communication is also going to help you in your uh, in 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 your later career where you will be uh, going for any international conferences to present your paper or present a poster or joining a group of uh, eminent scientists okay to do some research pro work to 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 collaborate if you get a chance to collaborate with them then this communication skill is going to help you next skill should be critical thinking and problem solving ability okay so this critical thinking is important and it will be required because you will uh, for sure when you are designing an experiment you will come across some hindrances okay and some road blocks so you should know how to do this problem solving okay so your problem solving skill will be very much required next attention to detail and ability to maintain the accurate records okay so even in the in the in the results okay if you, if you are missing a decimal point that might cause a lot of havoc in your result and the interpretation of it so since you are doing a scientific experiment okay so this will be a skill so you should you should give attention to details okay to the decimal point what temperature if your organism is growing better okay to the decimal point all right how much amount of protein is expressed in your sample to the decimal point all right so this should be very very good and and you should be good in maintaining the records also because it's a scientific thing you are doing okay so the approach should, should be completely scientific it should not be just you write it down in a rough notebook or something like that and later you are looking for your records and you are not getting it fine it's because when you are presenting a paper you should have the documentation of all the proofs all the evidence then that's, that's when you come to a proper scientific conclusion okay so it's very important that you maintain the records accurately okay and this skill you know maintaining the records and all so that you can cultivate in your daily life all right so definitely nobody writes a record in the daily life but you may start arranging your own room arranging your own stuff 
okay that will you know that will that you can that habit once you have developed that you can extrapolate it and show it in your work so this is a skill that you will need to develop if you think that you are lacking in it next will be time management and organizational skill so this is again related to this uh, skill that you need to be organized okay and you have to do proper time management okay see when we are talking about experiments no many a times it happens that the experiment will be 10 hours long long okay so so you should be clear that in the early morning when you enter the lab that is when you have to set up your experiment so that you get the entire day's time okay 10 hours and in that by the evening time your experiment is over all right or else it will be completely waste that you are setting up your experiment in the evening that means you have to be awake till the whole night okay when and after 10 hours when you get the get the result so that time you have to be available now how can you do your experiment will go to waste right so this all scenario should not come you should do the proper time management and in case if you have to set up your experiment early in the morning so you have to make sure that one night before you have prepared everything okay now this is also a time management skill you know that we have to cultivate cultivate in us and that is something like our school used to cultivate in us if you remember like my I, I remember it clearly that my teachers used to say that uh, next day's timetable whatever books and all you require put it one day before only okay so that in the morning you don't have to rush so what is it it is a time management skill they that they wanted us to develop from the early life okay so that because the, dev, the habits that we develop in early life we continue to our own our whole life right so this time management is required and that time management is not specific for any biotech graduate it is required for every phase of life okay time management especially in today's time where everything is moving on so fast is very very important and coming to skill number 10 will be creativity and innovation in approaching scientific challenges okay so i told you that skill number uh, seven that critical thinking and problem solving abilities are required but at the same time okay so uh, when you are doing this problem solving not required that everything will fit in the box sometimes you have to think outside the box okay so this thinking of outside the box is something that you should cultivate okay you have to innovate sometimes innovation will be required okay creativity and innovation you have to do in your experiment and that is that that, that maybe that thinking outside the box will help you in getting a better result a better conclusion a better interpretation of the result okay So everybody, these are the 10 skills that I could think of, okay, and uh, this will definitely help you in developing your uh, developing developing yourself your personality and making you making yourself more valuable. So just having a uh, taking a look at all of them at one time. So skill number one will be knowledge of fundamental and biological principles and concepts. Skill number two, familiarity with lab techniques and equipments. Three, ability to design, conduct, experiment. Skill number four, proficiency with common software programs and tools. Skill number five, knowledge of regulatory guidelines and compliance requirements. Skill number six, strong communication and collaboration skills. Skill number five, critical thinking and problem solving. Number eight, attention to details and ability to maintain accurate records. Skill number nine, time management. And skill number 10, creativity and innovation and the ability to think outside the box. So develop all these skills, work on them, make them, make them more polished and you will see the success. Thank you everyone for seeing the video and please let us know in the comment box what you think about all these skills thank you everybody have a great day